Hey Capricorn, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we delve in into what's the T, okay? This can play out past, present, and future, so take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support any kind to the brand, as well as the channel. It's greatly appreciated, okay? Hmm, I damn near want to say next 48 hours, Capricorn, this could be happening to you kind of fast. Yeah, look, Knight of Wands come rushing in. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, okay? But there is some type of confrontation with this person. Okay, so that's why they are rushing in. They have some type of passionate communication. And they're being like kind of forceful about it but look it's just a baby ass offer it's just the fact that they want to be heard they want to look like they have some type of stability to offer but they really don't we see that house of cards in the back looking real shaky okay and who is all these cats i have questions i feel like they have fans all right with the five of wands here they do have some type of competition going on and it's like it's like, you know this, but it's like, it's almost like this person is coming in just saying like, I know I was mean to you, but, or it's just like the most basic, like they just now just seeing you in a better light. And I don't know. I feel like it's not enough. Okay. With the two of wands here, there is some type of decision here that's being made. Walk away. All right. So I feel like that's what you've chosen to do because this person, they just, they ain't got it. Okay. With the strength card here, it did take you, um, a little bit of confidence moving forward. I feel like this person could have really, um, just offered you less less than in a relationship. Okay. Less than with stability, you know, and things like that. And I mean, at some point, you got stuck a little bit. That's what I see. And emotionally, when you withdrew from this person, it kind of took a little piece of you. Yeah, with the death card here, you definitely put an ending to something here. You see how both of these pictures here are dark. I feel like there was a moment where you just felt alone almost, okay? But with the Ten of Cups here, it's like because this person was like your family, blocking out a family member. Maybe you've known this person for a while. Maybe you all grew up together. Uh, maybe you all, you know, were just close. Maybe your families knew each other. Maybe you have children with this person, okay? But then here we have Six of Pentacles. It's just not enough, okay? And I don't feel like I had to convince you of that. I feel like that's what you feel like already with the Six of Swords here. You just want to have some type of better clarity. Um, oh, Queen of Swords and the Tower card. Wow, you see how this is literally her right here, the feminine, the Queen of Swords. While Alice is like messing the table up, mad at something. And this is literally the Queen of Swords. Wow, I feel like you behave differently in a situation, definitely. There could even be like an altercation. That's what it looked like the T is. An altercation here. And you literally just walk away from it. Like, you know what? With the Knight of Wands here, here the person come running in. Now, you've already come in as the Queen of Swords. This person has come out as the Knight of Wands twice. This lets me know, like, maturity level, this person is, like, under you. Like, you are more mature than this person, okay? And it's like, as quick as they run in, they run back out. So it's like this person wants to stop you while you're making the choice. But then, you know, this trumps it all. The comparison, if this is actually good enough, is it even the real thing? Is this love? No. So you walk away from it. You know, maybe at one point in time, this person really had a lot of manipulation going on, but I'm not even really seeing that. I'm just seeing that they weren't able to offer you much because they had a third party or they had several third parties. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords here and you're here saying you're not for that. Okay, as this message comes, hey, somebody probably reached out to you. That's what it looks like. 
somebody reaches out, you know, or something. I don't really feel like that's the part that phases you. It's just the disrespect and not being able to offer you anything from this person you were connected with. Hmm. I guess that's about the same thing, right? With the fool card here. I feel like you are embarking on a new journey, you know, for somebody that's more on your level. You know, the T here is that when you walk away from this person, from whatever it is that you find out about a third party, when you walk away from this person, it's like they're going to act like they're really chasing you, but then they're really not on nothing. And then you start to see things more and more. Now that you know about the third party, you start to see things more and more like, damn, all this time you've been playing around with me, you know? And I don't even see the magician card out here because it's like that person isn't even on a magician level. They're not even on a king status, you know, just a page and a knight. All right. Here we have the four of swords. Three of swords here, indication of heartbreak and then a truth right here. So I feel like you are kind of distant from this person. You show some type of like separation with them definitely walking away from them and then falling back from the situation see with the star card here you begin to grab the rest of your attire up out of that water dust dust your feminine energy off because it's like you're radiant like a star and it's gonna attract eyes things that are gonna notice it right and that's um a divine feminine trait embodying a certain energy and then allowing that abundance and everything that is accompanied with that energy to come to them, right? This person is still going to continue to play games, all right? They may try to offer you something. But see, remember when I was like, they are not even a king. And then they come in as a king. A king that can't even express their emotions properly. So it may be the fact of this person being emotionally unmature, Okay, immature. This person definitely plays a lot of games because you see them cards in their hand, but they also have that cup. You know, this person does try to keep you around longer. I definitely see that. But that extra cup just adds nine onto that eight of cups there. I see you moving to something that's more fulfilling. See, you've kind of fallen back on this offer that comes in. See, why this person not coming up as a king again when they're sending something? Gifts or whatever, trying to pursue you. And it's like, you're not even interested. With the five of cups here, there is like something that is out of this person's reach. And that's how to fulfill you emotionally. Literally, that's the thing that makes you walk away. Let's see, moving forward, Capricorn, moving forward, Spirit, what can Capricorn um, expect moving forward? What's the T? Two of Cups, a soulmate connection, interesting, from the past. Okay. Oh, you see how that Three of Swords just pop right out. The same Three of Swords we was talking about. It's heartbreak. With the situation from the past. I feel like that's severed here. You're dwelling. I mean not really dwelling on it. But with that one sword right there. That's an indication of Ace of Swords. With that. Well we steadily saw the Queen of Swords. Holding up. The Sword of Truth. And here is this person again. Trying to imagine. Of some type of offer. That they could offer you. But all they do is play games. And this person is, quite frankly, look a little upset that they can't fix things between the two of you all. That they may not even have the blessings of the universe <laughs> on their side. That's like karma on their side. Here you are coming in, Queen of Wands. Okay, definitely placed you as a third party. But that doesn't even matter because it's like you're putting yourself first. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups here. You're lining up all your ducks and putting them in a row, Capricorn. I see you as a complete mystery to this person. They don't even know how to come in and approach you, okay? With the hangman here, you thought long and hard about how to receive something that is fulfilling to you emotionally. You're like, no longer am I about to sit back 
and miss out on any other opportunities. Okay? With the Three of Wands here, I feel like you are anticipating something. And I feel like it's this reward. It's this satisfaction, right? Because mind you, you lying in your ducks in a row. But wait, who is this King of Wands? Somebody that's going into a setup. Why this person thinks she's sweet is really not. Let's see. The Emperor. And walks your masculine. Behind the scenes, it looks like you're dealing with somebody else. And they really boss daddy energy, you know, or boss bitch, you know. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, and walks the emperor, right? Shut all this person shit down. They go to Ace of Swords coming out. And you see how it's stuck? It's like only a matter of time before this crown is picked up, right? And this cycle is complete. A cycle of expansion when you jump down that hole as the fool, you know, and it's here to clarify the death card. That's like resurrection, rebirth after an ending. Hmm. It's like knowing what pain is to come if you stay in a cycle uh, that's already produced a heartbreak. So it's like you really think this through as you move forward, Capricorn. And I feel like in the future, it really pays off. And shit, somebody really salty. Whoever it is that you were dealing with that thought they was a player and they played games with you. Somebody is about to um, come in and claim you. Somebody comes in and claims you. Some type of situation happens. You know? It's really ironic in a way because I feel like some type of situation happens abruptly with one of they hoes coming towards you. You know, and at the same time, a similar situation happens in the future, but this is with your person, okay? Your true person that really cares about you, and they really raw as hell. Like, this person is really like boss daddy energy, you know, or boss bitch, like I said, like somebody that is like an entrepreneur, all right? Somebody that can really like you can trust you feel stability with this person if things were to go left you feel stability with this person and it's like this person may intimidate many people in fact they're definitely going to intimidate the person you was dealing with the bottom deck mm. ten of wands i'm gonna grab this card off the floor mm. and it's the will of fortune in reverse Things are not going to go in this person's favor when this, is, when this scenario plays out. See, this person, oh, we, look, King of Cups comes out again. What's the T is that this player that kept wanting to play games, you see it coming out with the third party energy. They kept a lot of things hidden, right? Look at them just shining this shit up. I mean, oh, why am I cursing so much? I feel like there's an energy of you just like letting loose, you know. Um, this person could really be a little snappy too. Because we see this. It's like you're taking advantage of everything as you walk out that door. Eight of Cups holding back, allowing this person to pick up those burdens that they thought they were placeable on you. Just leave it, like just leave you there. They felt like you should just put up with their ways. That's how you're going to know who this is, okay? This is somebody that just wanted you to put up with the competition, maybe be mad at them, play the game back and forth, cat and mouse. You know, they get caught. Y'all make up. You all go through some stuff. They say why they've been cheating because you all been going through a rocky period. You know, it's something like that. But you break out of that cycle. You stay... You just stop what you're doing, right? When we saw that four swords energy, you just stop what you're doing and you dwell on the truth for a little while. And you be real honest with yourself. And we saw that with the queen of swords. We saw that with the ace of swords, right? And I feel like things shift in your favor, especially with the nine of cups. So what's the tea? What's the tea? 
see. We have looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. But it wants to come out in reverse, okay? But I feel as though this person is looking you up. I feel like um, other people that they are dealing with were looking you up. See, inside scoop, it still comes out. But it's like they're not getting much information. Maybe these people aren't finding you on social media. See, they want to get a closer look, nosy, all up in your business, right? But you move in silence. I can't make it up. So what else? What's the tea? All your cards want to fall on the floor. Mm. Child neglect, okay? But it wanted to come out in reverse as well. Um, this could teeter back and forth. Like if these people were to find more information about you, Capricorn, it's like they would just dwell on that all day. They would neglect their responsibilities, but since they can't find anything on you, okay. You're moving, you're moving around. These people are very triggered. This person could be very triggered by what? Capricorn, I ain't gonna lie to you. What that say? boss daddy <laughs> stable rich business owner ceo okay well, like i said if you are a male watching this and you are dealing with a female okay that's um a masculine energy a action oriented energy right that's who the emperor is okay and this emperor intimidates this past player okay legal issues court judges immigration etc okay your past person don't have shit on this emperor and i do have to say it that way because they don't even compare in any type of way okay this person acts upon their passions um acts upon their sexuality um however they're feeling that's what sways them okay the only two times I've seen this person, this player person come up and the king is, is the king of wands and they looked upset. And then we see the king of cups and that ain't nothing but game playing, not telling you anything, playing games back and forth, can't talk, can't communicate, right? And there's girl fights, arguments, physical fights. See, people want to come in and start something with you, but you out of their league. They can't find you. They can't look you up. Grudge holder. There's somebody out here holding a grudge. You out here winning. Look, you out here unfazed. That's what I see, Capricorn. Mirroring for money. People may try to say like, oh, Capricorn just dealing with the emperor for money. You know, just talking shit. That's all. Whole time, spirits say they busy crying over you. Sad, hurt, and upset. Watch out. <laughs> What's the advice for Capricorn? Third eye chakra, pineal perspective. I feel like you could work more on your pineal gland, your third eye, or maybe you have been. Okay, this has to do with your inner sight. Okay, in your reading, Capricorn, I see that you're in this phase where you're, or you're in this stage rather, where you're in the hangman energy. All right, and this is indication of somebody in deep thought trying to find a deeper perspective before they move forward because they don't want to be stuck in a situation or outcome that is unfavorable to them. I see you using your third eye to envision the things that you want to come to pass and how you would do so about going about it, you know, if that makes sense. See, star seer, that's what I'm saying. This is an energy of you envisioning the things that you would like to do. For example, when you go to make a sandwich, do you just go make it? Or do you think probably a little bit before going to go make it? You're like, oh, I want a sandwich. And then you think about what you want on a sandwich and then you go fix it. It's like you can see, you can envision it. And that's the third eye, right? So I feel like you're going to shift that more. That's going to strengthen more. And it's only going to strengthen more by you using it more. So become more aware of that ability when you're envisioning something to go do it. Okay. See, beyond the mind. It's all in the mind, but it's beyond, right? 
It's like a sixth sense. The bottom deck is throat chakra, express your truth. I feel like you definitely express your truth. You say what needs to be said to this person if need be. Um, moving forward, you do speak up for yourself. You may be somebody that may guide others in third eye chakra um, exercises. Okay, you could be someone that speaks to people about informative things or how to get things started, how to get business this started, how to. You may write a cookbook. You know, it's so many things that you could teach to people by, in, you know, envisioning the start of something. It's like teaching people how to envision the start of something, how to go about something. Okay, Realm Bridger. This is like crossing over that bridge from potential to tangible thing, okay? And then internal explorer, really delving into the depths of yourself, exploring who you are and what you would like to do with this newfound awareness. So the T is you got some past people pressed over you for sure. And you're doing a lot better in the future with your finances, with your resources, with your life path, okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support, Capricorn, as always. Until then, peace and love.